It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm Roland Boyd and flying solo at the desk here today because Joseph Bushy, along with most of the BCTV crew, is at Graduation Live. Uh, we're going to send you there in a moment. Uh, that'll cue me in promptly into our coming up graduation. Uh, it's going to show live on BCTV, but we'll get a, a pre-graduation update. The most uh, evil force the world has ever known, Japanese knotweed, gets taken on by Transition Putney. And, of course, Governor Shumlin, what would an addition of... Uh, 545 Live B without checking in with our fair Wyndham County based governor. All that and more. And remember, we do it all in 15 minutes. I bet I can get you out of here in less than that today on this most haphazard of shows. All that and more. Stick with us here on 545 Live. Brattleboro Union High School, class of 2011, we did it. And no matter what, in the end, you are all my lifelong home skillets. Thank you. Welcome back to this June 14th, 2012 edition of 545 Live. I'm Rowan Boyden. I'm going to take you uh, through the next 15 minutes to 6 o'clock when you can be back to the regularly scheduled news. Brian Williams and uh, all the crews there across uh, the major networks. Well, graduation is the talk on everybody's mind. In fact, I'm going to have to blaze up there uh, directly following this show to get uh, up to Natowich Field at the high school to partake in BCTV's five-camera live coverage. Uh, it'll show uh, two clicks up the dial on our government an education sister channel. Uh, of course, I'm going to wear this outfit as I uh, go out into the blazing sun, I'm sure. Uh, I've got uh, BCTV Access uh, Coordinator Frederick Noyes directing today, and BCTV ED uh, Core Trowbridge is standing by. She's the one operating the camera that we're cutting to now. That is, in fact, a live feed uh, coming up from the high school. Uh, Core, uh, are you there? Yeah, hi, Roland. Boy, there's a lot of people here already. You can see the graduates are lining up over here, or they're getting ready to line up. And you can see here we've got a lot of parents who are filling up the seats nice and early. Extre extremely sunny, so people are trying to choose a place here. I'm showing you how much the bleachers are filled. And uh, the band is getting ready. Terrific. And that highly really acclaimed UHS band. Indeed. Now, of course, uh, for someone that actually has a graduate graduating, uh, because uh, the weather has uh, really joined the fun here, done its duty, they get to, to go there live. But if uh, somebody's homebound or maybe doesn't have a graduate but is still interested, obviously they can watch live. It's gonna, we're going to go live at 6.10, but the festivities are going to kick off at uh, 6.30 with that highly acclaimed BUHS band we were just talking about. Cor, how else can people watch this? Say they miss the live broadcast. What's the best way for them to... Uh, to, to follow up with this. All right. Well, if you're not a subscriber to Comcast or Southern Vermont Cable, uh, you can tune into our website, brattleboro.tv.org, and you click on channel 10, so you make sure you're watching the right channel, and then just click the play uh, arrow right on the window there, and you'll be watching live streaming right off the channel. And if you want to watch this in the future, it'll take us a couple of days to get the file up, but then you can watch on demand also at brattleboro.tv.org. Yeah, the great thing about that is uh, you can do it at your convenience, um, and we've got a couple quality levels. Uh, we've really designed it to work with all kinds of internet in this uh, internet scarce region. Core Trowbridge is the executive director of Brattleboro Community Television and often jumps into the tech hat as we all wear many hats. She's on camera right now, beaming in uh, live from the graduation. Core, I'll let you go to uh, tie up the last minute details there. I'm going to see you in just a few minutes as I head on up there. Uh, I think everybody's pretty excited for this live broadcast. Thanks for checking in. Thanks, Roland. Bye. Bye-bye. Uh, the most high-tech of uh, services here, holding a cell phone to a microphone. Of course, uh, the high-tech, of course, showing this camera angle live. Uh, so, all right, enough dilly-dallying with that. Uh, we've got uh, precious little time left here in our downtown studios uh, before I have to get out of here. I'm going to try and get myself out of maybe five minutes, something like that. So uh, I'll have to jump into the headlines here, and we've got some stories that uh, I am interested in. But uh, we'll start by uh, rounding up the local media, including the Brattleboro Reformer. Reformer top headlines for today. The group Disability Rights Vermont presented to Vermont lawmakers uh, this week their case that a Vermont man's death was a direct result of the state's failure to act after the rights group alerted them uh, that the, uh, to the fact that the alleged victim's son was providing negligent care. 
And moving on, a 66-year-old Brooklyn resident who once served as the town moderator has been sentenced to 10 years in prison for possession of uh, more than 1,000 child pornography video and image files, which he kept on two separate computers, trying to keep them from tracking it down. Next, almost a year after tropical storm Irene hit Vermont, the state's recovery bill stands at about $733 million. I have a sneaking sus suspicion. This is our Shum report. This is, of course, uh, I shouldn't say of course, but uh, this script put together by our hardworking uh, intern, Nolan Edgar, who's been uh, on the scene as of late. I'm going to put us into the newsroom here so that we can... Uh, get our shum report. I always like to have uh, shum on my shoulder here. There he is. He's like a little angel. Uh, always watching out for me. All right, moving on with the shum report. Uh, I'll back up a little. Almost a year after Tropical Storm Irene hit Vermont, the state's recovery bill stands at about $733 million, or about uh, one billionth of the money going to subsidize large corporations. $733 million, all jokes aside, uh, but with help from the federal government, who are expected to pay three quarters of that large sum, Vermont will pay about $110 million. Uh, no small amount of money, though, as far as uh, my pocket is concerned. Yesterday, Vermont Governor Peter Shumlin spoke about his feelings on Vermont's recovery from Irene and talked about how the state uh, can combat uh, this and uh, make sure it's a clear recovery by uh, retaining employees brought on specifically to deal with Irene. Let's uh, take a look. There's a lot of work left to do, and therefore I have asked Sue Minter, uh, our recovery officer, to stay on in her job as recovery officer uh, until the end of 2012. Next, it's probably the most evil force this world has ever known, uh, certainly in the world of plant uh, flora and fauna. Japanese nutweed has been uh, striking fear into the hearts of gardeners, myself included, uh, all across uh, the New England region. Uh, anybody that has a garden uh, knows that it is can just creep up at a moment's notice. I know I have to weed mine uh, maybe every two days. Uh, it's certainly a force to be reckoned with and a deadly force at that. However, the group Transition Putney, who we uh, have partnered with, with BCTV to get as much of their content on the channel as possible, uh, is making strides to take it on. They've been uh, holding uh, seminars to talk about how to deal with invasive species in general, and uh, in particular Japanese knotweed, one that finds itself on the uh, U.S. Department of Agriculture's top 10 hit list, kind of like an FBI's most wanted list for invasive species. Uh, they've been talking about how to eradicate it and even took a field trip uh, last week. 545 Live content specialist Deborah Lazar was there to catch uh, some very relevant information to anybody trying to put together a garden in this area. If you've got something like that, and maybe half an inch on either side, an inch on either side, that is viable plant material. It will land somewhere and grow new roots and make new plants. So the top can do that and the roots can do that. So if this river flooded and washed out a section of this, this stuff, wherever it landed downstream, the chances of it rerooting and regrowing and taking a perfectly fine area and making it look like this over the course of time is fairly high. Just a sample of some of the uh, damage that Japanese knotweed can do. If you want to find out how to combat it, more details in that program, it'll show live all next week on BCTV Channel 8. We're all transition Putney programming as much as we can get our hands on shows. Uh, you can also find out more online. Transition Putney are the keywords there. All right, just a few things before we wrap up this somewhat haphazard Friday. Well, of course, we like to do uh, traffic, look at the downtown traffic scene, uh, though uh, sadly I've heard some feedback from viewers out there saying uh, that because downtown traffic is always so bad, it just looks like we're showing the same screenshot every day, even though we have, of course, advanced satellites courtesy of the Beat the Traffic app showing. So we've decided to shake up the uh, transportation traffic report somewhat. Uh, and thanks to Orca Media, the peg access station out of Montpelier, and the Vermont uh, Department of Transportation, we've got a new uh, more uh, regional update program that's happening here that I'm particularly excited for. This is going to be a weekly show. It's half hour. It's going to show on BCTV Channel 10 in its entirety, but we get to clip some of the pertinent region uh, information for us folks down south here. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, this is off of their pilot episode. Interstate 89 northbound. This is between exit 4 and exit 5. The roadway is reduced to one lane because of bridge maintenance work. Speed restrictions are enforced. This project is thought to go until about June 28th. 
Uh, the little sample of the Vermont Department of Transportation's On the Road series will be showing it weekly on BCTV right here on uh, Channel 8. You can find the program guide to find out when that will be uh, at brattlebrotv.org, where subsequently there's live streaming uh, for both our channels, channels 8 and 10, uh, and video on demand for all local content where you can uh, watch it at your leisure. All right, that's about all I got here today. I got to uh, put on my comfy clothes, head up to the Natowich Field at BUHS to get ready for live graduation again it's coming up uh, two clicks up the dial on channel 10 uh, I, I strongly recommend watching it they do a good job of keeping it moving there's some great music uh, in addition to the BUHS band they'll have the BUHS chorus as well uh, doing some excellent performances as they do every year uh, I'm particularly uh, looking forward to the valedictorian speech which I always think is kind of an art form if you can indeed make it not cliched uh, as Taylor Patno did last year I expect uh, nothing less from BUHS students this year again so tune in 6 30 uh, uh, channel 10 and uh, we'll make it worth your while all right that's a, a full it everybody uh, thanks for checking in with us uh, if you want to get in touch with me to tell me about some news tell me about things you like things you don't like uh anything any feedback for us at 545 live the email is roland at brattlebrotv.org that's r-o-l-a-n-d at brattlebrotv.org we uh, are happy to share all comments out there uh, as we enjoy feedback here uh, on both sides of any issue uh, thanks to everybody that makes 545 Live tick the way it does. In particular, Nolan Edgar, our hardworking Leland and Gray intern. He's done now as uh, Leland and Gray wraps up. We'll be filming that uh, commencement tomorrow, and it'll show later on BCTV Channel 10. He put together that script. I was reading it for the first time. Uh, I'm glad he did uh, the, the job that he did, making it sound smooth for me here. Uh, also, Core Trowbridge, BCTV director, who beamed in live from Natowich Field to give us a little uh, visual for our teaser trailer for graduation. Content specialist Paige Martin, Maria Dominguez, Ian Keel, uh, and to you viewers, of course, for making 545 Live a success. Thanks, everybody, and good night.